We are getting the answer to a question that has been properly put by Assemblymember Johnson on Outer London Thank Cycling. You. Thank you, Doug. I congratulate you on your, your excellent question, which is, what, which is one of the best that's been asked this morning in a not very hotly contested field. Oh, uh, no, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. What about my question? My question. Well, no, actually, actually, no, actually, that's not true. There were some. There were some other questions. But look, Outer London Cycling is 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 booming, uh, as, as I'm sure you know, because you'll have, you'll have seen the figures. It's up by 22 uh, percent this year on on last year. The number of journeys almost uh, has doubled in Outer London since uh, 2006, 2007. There's a massive increase in cycling in Outer London. Uh, but there's a huge potential for growth, as you rightly, uh, as you rightly understand. Um, we're committed to more mini Hollands, uh, quiet ways, and uh, super hubs, a super hubs program at uh, out London stations, including Crossrail stations, so that uh, the, the the rail network is joined up with the cycling uh, with the cycling route. So, there's, but there's a there's a huge you know, panoply of, of measures that we're putting through to try to, to boost cycling in London, because that is why I think there are huge potential wins. Um, you know, the, 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 there, is, there is still far too many journeys being made in London. There's still far too much vehicular congestion in London, which is, which is unnecessary. Although there has been an increase, it is obviously of a, um, a, from a very tiny starting point, particularly when you compare that to the growth that we've had in, um, in Central and, um, and, and in the London. And I think we have got the right, um, the, the right model now in terms of the cycle, superhighways, the, the new ones that are, that are going in very, very high quality in, um, in, in, uh, in, in, in Central and uh, in the London and so on. But when it comes to outer London, um, beyond the three mini Hollands, um, we really need some, some big thinking. So is TfL working up? additional mini Holland programs with boroughs beyond the three that are already in train? Um, I'll, I'll be happy to let you know what we're doing. I mean, if you remember, there was a big bidding process and there were several boroughs were very disappointed not to get mini Hollands. I wonder whether, it, 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 when you now look at some of the difficulties, the, the cycling, great cycling programs in the abstract uh, are sound very attractive. As soon as you get into digging up pavements, making changes to the carriageway, everybody freaks out. And, you know, that's why you, these decisions are, are quite hard, and, but you've got you've to push ahead with them. I, I really hope that the boroughs that are committed to the Mini Hollands will show the leadership and the, and the drive that is necessary to push these things through, because, um, not to put too fine a point in it, I think sometimes there's a little bit of uh, you know, there's an, an initial flush of enthusiasm, and then every, the, the first whiff of, of grape shot, everybody uh, scuttles for cover. And uh, I think you need, you, need to, you, need to, you need to keep going. Yeah, and, and keeping going is, is absolutely the right, the right thing to do. Um, we, we do absolutely need, um, need the Mini Hollands. I think they will transform life in outer London, not just for, um, for cyclists, but for, um, for pedestrians, for local businesses, when there's more footfall and increased, um, increased presence in, um, in local high streets and, uh, and so on. So I think there are, there are definite benefits. But what do you think you can do now in your final few months to actually start building up that consensus more to ensure that we don't have um, months or years of dither and delay once a new mayor comes in and that we've actually built up a really strong consensus um, from City Hall across London, across each of the main mayoral candidates that this is something that will be taken forward. What, what particularly well, I, can you I, I, it's do? It's a very, very good question. This is something actually I think that Val and others asked in, in the last... Uh, few months, you know, how do we, how do we protract the, the tram lines, as it were, of the, of the cycle super, the cycle agenda? Um, I think TfL has a very clear programme of work on all the, on the superhighways, on the mini Hollands, on, every, on, on everything, on the quiet ways. Um, my advice to, to you and to Londoners would be really to make sure that in mayoral hustings, uh, and I'm sure there will be a cycling husting, uh, that people uh, ask very careful questions about the commitments of, of mayoral candidates and ensure that they get satisfaction about the answers. And I would hope very much that any uh, future mayor would want to continue with this work. I think it is, 
it is difficult and it does require a great deal of energy and political leadership uh, because as I say once you you know once you get into the detail people start reacting negatively and you have to have a certain amount of resolution but you you will continue ensuring that TFL in your final um, final few months now actually works up um, programs for out of London beyond yes. the three um, beyond the three mini Hollands, so that we have a clear program that a future mayor can pick up and run with, rather months on, and months of on, on mini Hollands. On mini Hollands, I think it's vital that we deliver the ones that are currently in train. I think that it would be, uh, frankly, a mistake now to when when those three are, are still proving quite difficult to deliver to get a whole new competition going, which, you know, I couldn't see through. Um, there, were, there were some bids. Uh, they remain, you know, on the table, as it were. I would hope that uh, a future mayor would want to continue uh, the Mini Holland programme and to, and to expand it. Um, I, I, think as, I think as a matter of, um, just a matter of, of, of practical politics, the, the leadership to a great extent has got to come not from TfL but from the boroughs. If boroughs want mini Hollands, they've got to step to the, up to the plate and show how they want to deliver them and show they've got the, the political uh, cojones to deliver them. And, okay, uh, thank, uh, thank, thank, thank that you for that. The Green Group are out of time. Assemblymember Boff?